We're back now with the Israeli ambassador to the United States, Ron Dermer. Ambassador, thank you for coming. Uh, this technology is just amazing now, and I want to ask you about uh, what we just heard from the uh, Palestinian. But uh, I think uh, this war really came home to a lot of Americans this morning. While I was interviewing the prime minister, the air raid uh, sirens went off over Tel Aviv, and then before the interview was over, we heard the people in the background telling people they could come out from the... Uh, from the shelters, you actually on your iPhone right. get a report whenever those sirens go off. In fact, the siren goes off on on your phone. What was that rocket? Because your your phone tells you where that rocket came from. Well, when you were interviewing the prime minister, a rocket was fired from Gaza into Haifa, uh, and it was intercepted, I believe, over Tel Aviv. And it's not just the Israel's ambassador can get it on their phone. Anyone can get it on their phone. They can download an app called Red Alert Israel. Uh, and what happens is every time a siren goes off in an Israeli city when an incoming rocket uh, is coming in, you'll get it on your phone and you'll know exactly w what city is being targeted and when it's being targeted. And you just saw a real-time example uh, when you were interviewing the prime minister. Uh, what are your people brought in with you this morning? Uh, some videotape again that came off the phone and this was when the Israelis were going to attack a target uh, in Gaza. I, I want to play this and uh, then we'll talk about it. Well, there you have it. And this was the pilot being told there are children there or, or something. Well, you uh, Exactly. And this happens all the time. Uh, when our pilots are targeting a, a particular site, they try to make sure that it's clear of civilians. There are many, many military operations that are called off because we see that there are civilians who are going to come into harm's way. And that's the difference between us and Hamas. Hamas is deliberately targeting our civilians. They want to kill as many civilians in Israel as possible. Thankfully, we have Iron Dome uh, that are protecting our civilians. But as the prime minister said, they are actually using their civilians as human shields. They place missile batteries next to Hamas schools, hospitals. It makes it very difficult for our military to fight this war in a surgical way, but we'll do it and we'll continue to uphold the highest standards. Well, you heard the uh, Palestinian representative uh, saying and giving a very different take on that. Well, he has to brush up on the rules of war because apparently he doesn't know them. When you take a home or you take a mosque or you take any such uh, a site and you turn it into a site where there is terrorist activities, it actually becomes a legitimate target. And that's what Hamas has done. They have taken hospitals, schools, mosques, homes, and they've turned them into legitimate uh, targets. We haven't targeted many of them because what we're trying to do is surgically get at the missile batteries. And I think we do a pretty good job of doing it. We've had, huh? Now, well, we just had, this is the siren that goes off on my phone. A rocket now is heading as we speak to Gedera. That's actually the city, uh, the village that my mother was born in right now. It is heading towards Gadara as we speak. And despite that, the fact that we have three quarters of our population right now who have to go into bomb shelters, the equivalent of almost of over 200 million Americans, Israel is acting un with unbelievable restraint. Imagine what the United States government and the United States military would do if 200 million Americans were in bomb shelters and you were facing attacks from contiguous territory of a terror organization. I think we can be very proud of how Israel is fighting this war against terrorism. How long does this go on, Ambassador? Where does this end? Well, it ends when we are able uh, to achieve our military objective, which is to res restore a sustained period of quiet for the people of Israel. The people of Israel deserve that, just as any nation deserves it. And hopefully, we can fight against the terrorists. And ultimately, we'll have to go into some sort of political process to advance a sustainable peace. But have to understand one thing, Bob. This has nothing to do with the occupation. The Palestinian ambassador sat in this chair right before I got on, and he said the root cause of the problem <clears throat> is the occupation. But that, those talking points are nine years old. Israel left Gaza. We withdrew all our settlements from Gaza. We withdrew all our military forces from Gaza. And since that time, we've had 9,000 rockets fired at Israel. It's unacceptable. We have to defend ourselves. Ambassador, I want to thank you for coming by this morning. Uh, and let's hope that siren doesn't go off too many more times before some solution can be found to this. Thank you so Thank much you. for being with us. We'll be back with our panel of uh, analysts in a minute.